Okay, this is question 2.8. We have four integrals here and you want to evaluate these integrals. Should note that these integrals are actually integral of product of a signal like xt or x ta and a delta function. And here we have a shifted uh, time shifted delta function. This is the delta function a shifted and time scaled delta function and this is also a shifted delta function and here we're going to use a property named uh, sampling property or a sniffing property and this property simply says that the integral of product of xt to delta of t minus t0 dt is simply x of t0. Okay, and that's obvious because this delta t minus t0 is 1 when this is 1 when t equals t0 and it is 0 when t does not equal t0. And under this case, uh, the product of xt to delta t minus t0 is 0, and integral over 0 is 0. So for this case, for all the points that t does not equal to 0, the value of this product, the value of this integral is 0. And only at one point, and that's this point, delta t minus t0 is 1. And the integral of the signal at one point is the value of the integral at that point. I'm sorry, the value of the signal at that point. Okay, so integral of t0 to t0 of xt times 1, because delta t minus t0 is 1, dt is x of t0. Okay. So that proves this property. So remember that because uh, in all these four integrals, we're going to use this property. All right. So for the first one, it's obvious the value is x of uh, t because delta t minus tau is 1 when t equals tau so that means this the integral of the product between these two signals equals the value of the signal x at t equals tau or tau equals t actually for the second one well delta t is 1 only when t equals 0 Okay, so this becomes the integral of 0 to 0 of e to the power of minus j omega t dt. Well, this is e to the power of minus j omega t for t equals 0, which is e to the power of minus j omega 0 times 0, which is e to the power of 0, which is 1. So this integral equals 1. What about the one here? We have a time shifted and time scaled delta function. Okay, so we know that the uh, like, like we know that the delta. Uh, where can I write it? Let's write it here. Delta of alpha t. This equals one over alpha. This is the time scaled. version of delta function. This equals 1 over delta times delta t, 1 over alpha times delta t. All right. So I can I can do the same here. I can use this the same relation relationship here, but let's let's uh, give more details and see how do we get this? How can we get such a thing? Well, here I use a different uh, argument for this. I labeled by u so u equals 2t minus 3, okay? 
so this becomes integral of delta u times sine of pi and instead of t I can write t based on u okay so I can say t equals u plus 3 over 2 so here I can write it pi times u plus 3 time divided by 2 and instead of dt now I can replace it by du so if t equals let me write it down here if t equals u plus 3 over 2 then dt equals du over 2 all right or we can say 1 over 2 du so I can replace dt by 1 over 2 du so it becomes du divided by 2 and I take this 2 uh, out of the integral and I write it here this equals 1 over 2 delta u uh, integral of delta product of delta u and sine of pi times u plus 3 over 2 times du and I should also remove this because I took that behind the integral okay and now everything then is simple because we agreed that at u equals 0 this delta u is 1 and from the sampling property we know the value of this integral equals sine of we actually have a 1, one over 2 I forgot to put that so we have this 1 over 2 times sine of pi times u plus 3 over 2 where u equals 0 all right where u equals 0 so if if I replace u by 0 we would have uh, we would have 1 over 2 times sine of pi times 3 over 2 so this is uh, 1 over 2 sine of 3 to 3 over 2 pi which is minus 1 over 2 all right so this integral here this integral equals minus 1 over 2 and the last one well this again is uh, we can we can we can solve that using the same approach for part C I can assume that uh, I can replace this one this x t minus tau by another signal say since it is dt I can replace that by gt then calculate this well from from sampling property we know that this equals g of t because at t equals capital T delta is 1 so that means the in integral over this product is gt and this means and actually we, we assume that t minus tau equals capital uh, a small t so that means this equals x of uh, capital t minus tau okay so or from or from instead of this we can we can directly use sampling property and from sampling property again we know this delta is 1 at small t equals capital T and this multiplication is x of t minus tau where t equals 
capital T, which equals x of t minus tau. So this is the equivalent for this integral. 